This is the Great Lakes Water Level Dashboard, developed at NOAA's Great Lakes Environmental Research Lab in cooperation with U of M Siler and the Army Corps of Engineers with funding from the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative. I'd like to show you some features of this tool to show you how easy it is to use and to customize. When the dashboard opens up, you'll see lakewide average monthly water levels, these blue dots, for the past 20 years for all of the Great Lakes, along with their long-term means, these red lines. Let's say I'm mostly interested in water levels on Lake Huron and Lake St. Clair. I'm simply going to go to the upper right, turn off the lakes that I'm not interested in looking at, and turn on others. I'm also going to go to the upper left to change this, change the water levels to feet. Now if I'm interested in what the, water, what the forecast is for water levels this summer, I'm going to want to go below the axis and grab this time slider button that now says 1995 and slide it to the right to zero in. Another way I can do the exact same thing is to go over to the blue time span button, click it, and fill in my start and stop years. You'll notice that when I hover my mouse over a data value, the value is shown along with the date. And I'm interested in comparing what, how the current water level compares with this time last year. So I'm going to look at February of this year and find February of last year. And I can see that we're more than a foot higher, at least on Lake Michigan and Huron, than we were this time last year. Now I'm going to look at the forecast for this summer. The six-month forecast is issued every month jointly by the Corps of Engineers and Environment Canada. These red bars show the 90% confidence intervals for each month. Although we don't know exactly where we're going to end up within this band since we don't know what the weather is going to be like this summer, it's easy to see that in general we're expecting to be quite a bit higher this summer than the peak for last summer. If I'm interested in getting more information on this forecast or other forecasts, I simply go to the monthly level forecast tab in the legend and menu and scroll down to the info on monthly forecast button. Now I'm going to turn the other lakes back on to get a better perspective. And I'm going to grab the time slider button and zero back out to 1975 or so. This 40-year view is nice because it shows both record highs that were recorded in the mid-1980s and also a new record low that was recorded on Lake Michigan Huron last January. This gives you a good feel for the annual variability, the regular annual season, seasonal cycle, as well as the difference in water levels between different decades. The dashboard also has other data for you to explore. The paleoclimate data category shows ancient shoreline levels from hundreds to thousands of years ago. The long-term, the forecast multi-decadal button reveals projections for the next 50 to 100 years of water levels based on climate studies. A few other fi handy features to note include the screenshot button in the upper right, which allows you to record a visual image, save it to your computer. Also, the download data portal allows you to save any of this data. The dashboard portal in button in the upper left let, uh, leads you to other versions of this dashboard. And the HTML5 button takes you to a reduced version of this tool that's available for mobile de devices. This tool was designed to make it easy to display and understand Great Lakes water levels, so we hope you'll check it out.